What's up, webheads? Friend of the Black Spider here, and welcome back to Will You Press the Button. Um, it's been a month since I played Will You Press the Button. I figured I might as well just go ahead and do it again. And you know, since the uh, the whole um, thank you MatPad and goodbye MatPad thing is still going on, um, I figured I'd just continue to do some gameplay videos until I get enough entries for that. Um, speaking of which, before I actually get started with this, there is one thing that I will add to that. Um, in terms of entries for that, for me to use for the compilation, I would much prefer that everybody just use audio and video of yourself, just like saying goodbye or thank you or whatever um, to MatPat, because um, it'll be easier for me to use that in a compilation rather than just video that has like a clip uh, from some other audio source with text on it saying just kind of describing it, expressing how you feel for the, through that because it'd just be easier to have it where it's just like actual people saying the words to map hat rather than like saying your words through the, the thing and in case this doesn't work out, I do have a backup plan um, in case I don't get enough entries or any entries for that matter within the next three weeks. So we all have time to prepare for that, but if I don't get any like actual human like voices in video and no, no entries in the next three weeks, um, I do have a backup plan, and I will use that instead. So yeah, but anyways, uh, will I press the button? So the first prompt is, will you be able to see into the future? You, uh, you will be able to see in the future, but you can't see your own. Um, Yeah, I'd rather not, because I don't really need to see into the future. Plus, if I could see into the future, like, what would I do with this knowledge? Keep to myself? Tell people about it? Like, it's really kind of pointless to to be able to see into the future, but then not tell anybody about it. And especially the fact that if I tell people about it, people will try to change the future, and that will only result in a more screwy future. So yeah, no, I'm not, not pressing the button on that one. But of course, 80% of people actually decided to press the button. I... Whatever. Um, you, will, you could live forever, but you would have to watch everyone you know and love grow old and slowly die over time. No, not pressing the button on that one. Because... I don't want to just watch everybody that I love just die around me. That's just not life worth living. Okay? I like being able to be with my my family and my friends in heaven because I don't want to live alone. To perfect any skill you want, but you would have to withstand every submission move known to man for three minutes each. What do they mean by every submission move known to man for three minutes each? I I don't know how I feel about that, especially not especially not knowing um, what that entails. I think I'm gonna pass on that because again, not knowing what that not knowing what that entails um, would be kind of <sighs> I don't know. It would be kind of sucky. And it's really not kind of not worth pushing a button if I don't even know what that entails. Um, you get the ability to learn any skill to a master degree instantly. Alright, so this is another skill one again. But you forget it after you use the skill. Then you can never learn that same skill again. Well, well what's the point then? That's kind of counterproductive. What's the point in, what's the point in mastering anything, any skill, but then instantly forgetting it after that, when you use it? That's 
counterproductive. No, that person the button on that one. 32% of people, six or 68% of people will agree with me on that one. Like, um, you control what dream you want always, or, or you, you control what you dream always, but you sleep double the time you normally do. Um, well, I mean, my sleep schedule varies anyway, so it's just like, it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter too much on one hand, but on the other hand, like, my work schedule sometimes is in the mornings, so if I sleep more than I normally do, like if I sleep through my alarm especially, it's just like, eh, I don't know. If I actually go to sleep at like say 10, 11, then it wouldn't matter too much. Because I, I admit, I sometimes stay up until about 1 o'clock in the morning anyways. So it's just like, if I were to actually go to sleep at like 10 or 11 in the morning, at night, then it wouldn't be that big of an issue for me, but at the same time, again, because, like, even if I were to do that, I would normally be sleeping, like, about eight hours at a time. Double the time I normally would sleep would entail that I would sleep, like, somewhere along the lines of 16 hours at a time, and that's too much, and if I sleep through my alarm, then, yeah, that's... Nope, I'm not doing that one. Of course, 64% of people like to work that on that one. I guess most people just don't have to work in the mornings like I do. Damn, must be nice. <laughs> um, you will have a great fortune, but you must listen to We Built the City 10,000 times a month. No. <laughs> I'd rather not. I know what this, I know the song. But I was just like, no. I don't want to listen to it like 10,000 times a month. Like, if I listen to it 10,000 times a month, I wouldn't be able to get through all 10,000 times before the end of the month. And I would just like, it would just like add on to it until, until I'm like constantly listening to that song on repeat over and over and over and over and over and over and over again every damn day. It's just not worth it. No. If it's ever gonna be agree with me. So yeah, it's like, why would anybody want to do that? No. Um, here's another mastery one. To be able to master any language of a choice, but you have to move to the country where the language is spoken. Uh. As nice as it would be to actually live in any of those countries outside of the U.S., it's just like, I don't want to move away from the U.S. I would nice to visit those other places, but... At the same time... I'm very much comfortable with where I am. So, yeah, not press the button. Um, you could walk on water, but you could not drink it or use it. Example, shower. Why? Why would anybody want that? It'd be cool to walk on water, but at the same time, if you can't drink it or use it, then what's the point? Yeah, 81% of people agree with me on that one. <laughs> first comment on this. I can only run, walk, sit, lay down on water. It's called ice. And reply, genius. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's so, that's, um, you're the most beautiful person in the world, but you're the dumbest person in the world. No. I, I don't, I like my smarts. I know it, sometimes it doesn't look at what I, I what was that? I, I know it, sometimes I'm not really too smart when it comes to certain things, but I am, I'm still smart when it comes to certain things. It's just that depends on the thing that I'm trying to do. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, maybe it does. Maybe being the dumbest person wouldn't be so bad, but you know, if I'm the dumbest person in the world, I even be able to speak. 
not pressing the button on that one. Yeah, 84% of people agree on that one. Yeah, not, 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 not happening. No way. No how. Never be tired, but not be able to rest. Your mind will want to run like an engine all the time. I'd rather not. Because I like, I like my rest. Okay? Yes, I'd like to be able to just work tirelessly. But, at the same time, I also like my rest. So, I'm not, I'm not sacrificing my rest just so I can do the things that I want without feeling tired. Um, you become internet famous and rich in a virtual world or your choice. In any virtual world or your choice. But you're poor in real life and no one will ever like you. I'm gonna say no on that one because that's not... Like, being rich and famous in an internet world and then not being poor in real life is just not really worth it. And yeah, 76 percent of people have me in that one, so it's like, why would anybody want that kind of life? Plus, if you're poor in real life, it's just like, you know, you can not be able to do the things you want to do in real life. It's just not worth it. Progressing the button, you'll become the embodiment resulting in the perfection of human features and beauty, but you'll never find true love. Joke's on you! I've never found it anyways, so I think I'd be okay with that one. So I think I'm going to press the button on that one just for the heck of it. Admittedly, my first button push of this episode. <laughs> that is like the first ever button that I actually pushed so far in this episode. That's it. Alright, I'm going to see if I can get at least one more button push just before I end this video off. You have the ability to control fire in any way, shooting, gritting, flying, if flying with etc. Alright. But you must drink a small bottle of ghost pepper sauce each time. It will be supplied instantly to you. I mean... Eh, I could handle that. I'd, I mean, sure, it would hurt like hell, but, you know, I could probably handle that. As long as I have, like, a... Like a... Like a nice big bottle of milk. I'll hold on hand every time I might drink it. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'll sacrifice this that for that for the fire ability. So there you go, my second button push of the episode. Alright, so I think that'll about do it for this episode of Really Press a Button. Oh, admittedly, there are a lot of, like, not pushing buttons in this episode. Because a lot of these scenarios are just things that I didn't really want to do. <laughs> like the only ones that were actually worth it were the like the being the bottom of beauty but not finding true love or being able to curl fire but having to drink a bottle of a ghost pepper sauce every time. Like eh. Like everything else was just like meh. I don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it with, I'm gonna leave you guys with one final, um, scenario for this episode. And I'm gonna, and I want you guys to answer in the comments what you would do. So, it says here, every terrorist in the world dies, world peace forever, the world becomes a perfect utopia. But everyone will hate you for no reason, exile you from a society, and you and forget you exist. Well, if you guys want this, you're crazy, but, I mean, world peace would be nice. But at the same time, everyone forgetting that you exist and hating you is just like, eh. But that's my answer anyways. Whatever you guys choose is up to you. Oh. Oh. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to get a like button and get all the right hook. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.